We are taking the opportunity to speak with head softball coach Cheryl Gilmore and head baseball coach Scott Kelly. Both programs have had a lot of success so far this year. Baseball is ranked number one for the second straight poll. Softball is ranked number three for the second straight poll. And that just doesn't happen that often. So we wanted to take some time and talk to these coaches about their programs. So we're gonna ask you a couple questions. Scott, we will start with you. You're in your fifth year here at Edmonds and over the first four years, you've had the highest winning percentage of any North Region team, both in league play and overall. And at an NWAC school, it's a never ending recruiting process. Turnover is constant, it's just part of it. It's difficult to have success in the first place, but you've been able to sustain it. How have you been able to do that? Well, I think it's a credit to our coaching staff, uh, the consistency of our program uh, year in and year out, uh, the focus on what we think is important for players at this level, uh, strength, speed, uh, the development of the game are important factors that we go over year in, year out, it's the same time of year. Um, our program doesn't change much. Uh, we've, we feel comfortable with it. Uh, the support from our administration definitely helps. Uh, we've got a great support system from our administration. Other coaches are always great support. Um, so I think, it's, I think it's a combination of everything to keep us where we're at. Okay, and Cheryl, talking about your team, your team has shown an unbelievable amount of team chemistry. It's at times crazy in the dugout, for lack of a better term, in a good way. And your players obviously have strong relationships with each other and they pull for each other. Is that something that you intentionally manage? It is. Um, it's something that we talk about from, honestly, day one when they show up, that when you get older and you leave here, that a lot of times you forget some of the wins and the losses, but you're going to remember your teammates um, and that you're responsible for the experiences that you give your teammates. Um, and then it also just rolls right into just being selfless and um, being ready to step into whatever role is asked of you. Um, and that can change game to game, inning to inning, moment to moment. So to be able to really pull for each other um, and have each other's backs out there, like our team motto this year is hold the rope, uh, just to make sure that we're all really pulling for each other and it puts up ourselves in a position to be successful when we put the team first and care less about individual success. So it's fun to see them buy into that and really have some fun out there with each other. So we're going to do three more questions here and these last three you both get the opportunity to answer. So first question, Scott, you can answer it first. Another similarity in both of your programs is that you have deep and quality assistant coaching staffs and how important is that to the success of your program? Oh, vital. Uh, we, we've had Ron Amore here for 19 years. I think this is his 19th year. Um, you know, having him here and kind of keeping us with the tradition of what the program's been um, is huge uh, to keep us in the direction we're going. Uh, Jeff Carlson, I think he's the best outfield coach in the in the NWAC. Uh, you know, his repeated national gold gloves um, says that. Paul Gehring, our head assistant, uh, associate head coach, does a great job. Uh, anything we need from him, uh, he does a heck of a job. And then Brooks Roy uh, just joined us, and it's neat to see him uh, kind of the old uh, the old school Edmonds guy come back, and uh, it's neat to see him kind of bring a little bit of fire to it and uh, a little bit different from what we've been with in the past. But the coaching staff's vital. Uh, it's, it, it wouldn't work without them. Uh, I appreciate them every day. Can't go wrong without any of the five guys that we got here. Cheryl, same to you. Yeah, I echo that completely in terms of the importance of the coaching staff. Adrian, I lucked out to have him come back. Uh, he was here before I got the job, and so it was um, really cool for him to kind of show me the ropes a little bit in terms of how things go here at Edmonds, and then um, to kind of build on that. Uh, he's like half of our girls he's coached in the past, so um, to have him there and uh, kind of leading with me has been unbelievable. Um, and then adding Matt to the program the second year, uh, Matt Wilcox has just been insane for our hitting. Uh, he could coach hitting, I think, anywhere. Um, he's and he relates really well to our players too. Uh, he has a daughter, Hannah, who played for us last year, who was first team DP, and it was evident that he's a hitting coach and that she was his daughter because of the way that her approach was in the box. And he can just teach it really well to, to different learning styles, which has been awesome. 
and then to have Amber join us this year and kind of help take over some of the pitching responsibilities. Uh, I know it helps with the girls too to have someone who just graduated um, from Chaminade University playing softball to kind of relate to as well. Um, so I think collectively we keep each other really balanced. Uh, kind of depending on the situation, I think we add different perspectives, but um, those three have just been unbelievable for me and uh, people that I can lean on for whether it's on or off the field. So uh, I can't say enough good things about it. Okay, second question, and go back to you this time, Cheryl. Yeah. 